Welcome back to Teacher Reacts Flashback Friday Edition. Hi, I'm D-Dog. This is Teacher Reacts Flashback Friday, where we look at old K-pop or Asian pop songs and whatnot. And today we have something a little bit different because this is a song I haven't heard of in years. This came out in 2013. This is Henry. If you don't know who Henry is, Henry was a part of, hold on, I know the backstory here. It's not Super Junior. It's Super Junior M, which is like the Mandarin Super Junior, which had Super Junior members in it. But Henry was one that was not in 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 original Super Junior, only in the subunit of Super Junior. You can tell also it has Q Hyun. Uh, don't know if I said his name right, but he's in Super Junior. We've listened to his solo stuff before, and it's got my my boy Taemin. You know, he just he's making an appearance too. So like. You know I'm going to do this song, and of course, because it has Taman in it, I've heard it before. Now, have I heard it in a long time? It's probably been about eight or nine years, so we're going to see how much it holds up. This is from 2013. This is the debut of Henry, so since it's from 2013, they were babies. They were still babies. I'm pretty sure uh, that would make Taman like 19 in this, because Taman's around the same age I was, and I graduated 2012 from high school, so that means 2013 would have been about 19 years old or somewhere around there. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in. If you like this video, click the like button, if you feel about myself, and as always, subscribe, we're on the road to 2K. The one thing I know about Henry is he plays a shit ton of instruments. There's just a bunch of it. So I'm expecting a lot of that. And I'm pretty sure this is just an intro. So you play that piano, dude. Let's see, 2013. So this is prime beginning of me learning K-pop, all that stuff. My guess is this, besides being dramatic opening here, we're gonna have some fucking electronic beats, if I had to guess. And some sick ass vocals. I'm trapped. And some dramatic readings. <laughs> oh, I do remember this. I remember the piano. Oh, God, the nostalgia of listening to Pandora with this coming on. Dude, I, am, I have no idea how this is gonna hold up in the year of 2024. Also, by the way, there's no captions on this. Sorry, I did check for you. It's the same haircut every fucking boy member had back then. Like, hey, are you like a hip hop -y person? You're gonna have this haircut and you're gonna have a hat that's tilted sideways. Oh, I like the little crown though. Yeah, I definitely remember this. This is a fucking jam. Oh yeah, the little genie thing pops up every now and then. Ah, I remember that. It pops up in a different song I listened to recently in the classroom. I just can't remember what it is. I think it was an old shiny song. Lucifer? Possibly. Hello? Oh my god, he's such a baby back then. I mean, not like 14, 15 year old baby when he like did uh, the old shiny stuff when he debuted. But still, comparing that to now, I love this thumping beat. This thumping beat drives it forward. It's so good. Wasn't there a song? I don't know if it's this one later or another one by Henry where it was very like violin based or like, it's definitely like a string. I just don't remember. I specifically remember this song and another one that were like very close together. Ooh, I love those little stick, little staccato little plucks. Those little plucks that were happening there. It's cute. This feels like we're gonna get something. Is there a key change in this? Is that what we're about to get? Yes? Ah, no. Dude, the thumpingness of this is so good. I love the, uh, 
the movement. The movement's the only way I can say, I can say it. That's the, that's the shit right there. When you have somebody doing chorus and then you start having ad-libbing and whatnot, that ad-libbing over top of it is so good. Like that? Love that shit. And then you fall back down on the piano because you're gonna bookend the song because that's how you do songs. Bookend it to have the beginning and the end sound the same. Makes it feel like a complete package. Love that you slowed down at the end there too. What a great opening of a debut. I think there's one thing that I'm really impressed by here and it's because it's from 2013, that era, is that there's no auto tune. There's no electronic vocal filter. Which, by the way, is goes to test testify, testament, be a testament. I don't remember how to say that phrase, but it goes to show that they, they he and the people producing him was confident enough in the vocals to be like, ah, you don't fucking need all that extra shit. Just fucking have good times doing ad libs and have fun, strong vocals. And of course, if you're gonna have strong vocals, why don't you add two fucking also strong vocals? You know my love for Taman, but you also have a uh, super junior guy, what, Kihun? I, I don't know, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I know that he is vocal goodness. Like, I remember we listened uh, to one of his songs, I think. I don't think it was Little Prince. Little Prince, I think, was Ray, Ray Wook. Ray, Ray Wook. I don't, I don't think it was him, though. But we've definitely heard something of his before. If I haven't heard it here, I've heard it somewhere. Uh, now, that's all I really have. That's Flashback Friday for you. We're going to go ahead and just take a dive into, like, the... the the old school stuff. I've got like four more videos where we're going to keep this nice and short. So, outro time. Like the video, comment, subscribe, share this to somebody. I don't care where. Just share it somewhere. And I want all the people. These Flashback Fridays usually do very, very well. And I don't know why, but apparently people love bathing in nostalgia. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. And don't you want to also be a part of this community? So subscribe and talk and tell me how you feel about this era of stuff. The Flashback Fridays by far gets the most comments out of everybody. So therefore, I would love to see you in the comments. Talk to other people. Talk to me. I will promise I will try to reply or at least put a heart on it if I read it. Um... That's it. Uh, what's next? What's next? Let's let's give you a little bit of a preview of next week. What's next week gonna be? I gotta I gotta find it. It's somewhere in here. Hold on. We got we got this. Ooh, a duo. That's exciting. I know this. I know this next song very very well. I'll see you all then. Goodbye. <laughs>